Hi there, it's Brown Girl Gourmet. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you're not, thanks for coming back. Today we're making carrot shaped croissants. If you want to see how I do it, keep watching. Okay, so let's get started. For the carrot shaped croissants, you're gonna need crescent rolls. And I'm using the crescent rolls and there's eight rolls in this pack, but you can also find the plain pack where there is just a flat uh, dough sheet. Um, that will work fine as well. So what we're gonna do is just open the can and get started. And I will list all the ingredients and all the tools that you'll need in the description below. So I'm just going to unroll the cookie dough and of course you're going to see that there's lines on there because it's the pre-cut uh, eight rolls uh, for the crescents. And I'm just going to roll out the dough and pinch the little lines like the gaps to close it up to make it a flat sheet of uh, dough. And you can also take a rolling pin to smooth that out as well. Okay, so once the dough is smoothed out and there's no gaps, you know, and you have it to your liking, you're gonna take a knife and you're gonna cut it vertically so that you can have little strips. Now I'm only making about six strips, but of course you can make maybe eight if you choose, you know, depending on how big you want your crescent rolls because they will fluff up quite a bit in the oven. So you don't want, I mean, if you want to have them much larger, that's totally fine, but I'm only making six. Okay, so here are my six strips, and this is just an up close of what they all look like. Of course, they're a little, some are a little bit thicker, some are a little bit thinner, but that's quite all right. They don't have to be exactly perfect. So now we're gonna use um, egg wash, and you wanna take the egg wash and just coat um, an even coat on all of the strips. Now I'm only coating one side. You don't have to do both sides because it's totally not necessary. So just make sure that you're coating them very evenly. Yes, and just make sure that you're coating the entire strip. Now, I know you're probably wondering, what is that aluminum foil thingamajig on the side? We're going to get to that in one second, so I will show you that. But before we get to that, here is an up close of what the egg wash looks like on all the strips. So I did coat all the strips, and they are ready to now move on to the next step. Okay, so for the next step, we're going to move on to actually making the carrot shaped. And to use that, I am going to show you a quick clip of how I use just a piece of paper and aluminum foil to make a cone funnel shape so that I can wrap the dough around. And you can also try to use a cream horn mold if you have that, which I did not. So I kind of just DIY'd it and just improvised. Um, I will say the next time that I do make these, I will purchase a cream horn mold because when I'm wrapping the dough around the aluminum foil, it kind of was like getting squished and it was losing its shape. So you have to be very, very gentle when you're wrapping it. And I just think that the cream horn mold would probably be a better option. So I will purchase that. And if you have that, you can, you know, feel free to use that. If not, you can improvise like me and just use some aluminum foil or something that will give you this cone shape to resemble like a triangular kind of thing, like a carrot. And this is just an up close of what they look like. And you continue to wrap all of them around the aluminum foil. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to turning the croissant rolls into an actual uh, carrot. So of course we're gonna use orange uh, food coloring or, you know, dye to paint and you can just, you know, brush it on like so and cover all of the dough to make it orange. Um, I used gel food coloring, which may not have been the best option because of course once I was finished and they baked and I was ready to eat them, all of the orange just was falling onto my hands and it was staining my hands. I mean, yes, it washes off, so it's not a super big deal. But if you're like gonna serve these, of course you don't want people walking around with like orange fingers. So <laughs> you may wanna just use like the regular food coloring. I don't know why I chose the neon gel orange, but yes, um, this is what they look like. They're gonna go into the oven and now I've taken them out because they've baked. And they did bake for about 
seven minutes um you could probably try like maybe six to up to ten minutes should be fine and you may want to turn them over in the oven i did not turn mine over so of course only the one side is a little browner than the rest so you may want to you know flip them around and you know continue to bake them but this is what they look like they're all baked and they're ready to be stuffed now i'm going to fill mine up with chicken salad that i've already pre-made you can try um egg salad or i guess maybe like tuna you know because it's it is basically like a sandwich because the croissant is like the bread so i'm just going to stuff mine with my chicken salad and i'm going to use a little bit of parsley i'm going to pull off a little bit of that stem because it's a little too long and looks a little much so yeah i just pulled off a little bit but you can you know use your judgment on how much stems you want out and um you know just stuff it in to make it resemble a carrot so how cute is that and of course the gel food coloring is transferring onto my fingers like i mentioned before i use the gel food coloring so you may want to try something else uh, just regular food coloring but you continue to stuff um the carrot shapes with whatever um salad choice that you're going to use egg salad chicken salad tuna you know continue to do that with all of them and continue to put uh, a nice little stem on top so of course this is perfect you know for easter time or you could just you know not paint them um orange and just leave them plain and this could be a nice little option for like a picnic you know it's a good just handheld you know it doesn't really need too much work if you already pre-stuffed them so this is a really good um, fun snack to have And there you have it, carrot chip croissants with chicken salad, a pretty tasty plate. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, share, subscribe, and save.